Hi and hello everyone and welcome to our brand new Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer series featuring the usual cast of players, myself, Berg787, Torior and Grey Hunter. Say hello chaps. Hello. Hello. Hello, alright, that's it. We're back. You might have watched us play EU4, now you're going to watch us play CK2 and uh, some of us know what we're doing, others not so much. <laughs> others not so much being myself. So basically it's going to be EU4 all over again. Kind of, kind of. Well, I know what I'm Just doing in EU4. Just more medieval. I know, yeah, basically, basically. And a little bit more character driven. Uh, do you guys want to talk a little bit about who you are and what you're doing? I am Duke Thuringius of Franconia in, um, oh, over here in West Francia, or Francia. Somewhere up here. Missing out yeah. on an awesome pun. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not the Duke of Thuringian, but I will get it. And I have no wife. I'll, I will be marrying a gay, stressed girl because she's a genius. And I already do have a son. I've just and realized, that's basically it. I've just realized how old your man looks, man. He's like a super old 50-year-old. No, because when you pass 50, your portrait changes. No, 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 I get that. But, like, man looks super old. He looks 50. real rough for a 50-year-old. Yeah, he's, he's had a rough oh. life. He almost looks like he's wearing glasses. Like, there's this, like, round thing. Right? Do you see what I mean? Like, round his eye. Kind of look like he looks he, really yeah. grumpy as well. He does. <laughs> That's me. Where's your flag? Old and grumpy. Your house colors are rubbish as well. Um, it looks kind of Indian, doesn't it? It, it, does. it looks kind of like a, It looks like we're looking at, like, some sort of microbes under a microscope. <laughs> <It's>... Also, hetanid <laughs> also sounds Delightful. like something Indian or Eastern, anyway. It does. Your kid looks so young. Oh, your kid's rubbish. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah. Well, he's not rubbish, but he's, he could be better. Anyway, Lucas, what are you doing? I'm playing as uh, Duke William of Toulouse. I know it doesn't actually say William on the screen, but that's the French version of William, and I like William better than that. Than Guillaume. So, uh, exactly. It, it sounds so strange and odd. And I'm a 16-year-old. I was going to say, conversely to Torio's character, your your character looks like an incredibly old... Well, not conversely, actually. It's the same thing. Your guy looks like an incredibly old 16-year-old. <laughs> He looks like he's in shell shock. He looks like he's seen something truly terrible and he's just like, oh God, why? You know what that terrible thing was? Trauma. It was his reflection in the mirror when he saw this big <laughs> ginger beard. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Um, I also have a heir in the form of my father, the Duke of Burgundy, so that could be interesting. I don't think I stand to inherit that duchy. You could. Well, maybe I do. You could kill your brother. I could, but I don't really have any... Uh, passionate drive to do so See, but being 16 and unmarried i'm kind of hoping that he will live for a fair while and will get the chance to do some cool stuff one other kind of like slightly slight curiosity here is that when i click on your guy your parents there doesn't seem to be a mother there now you and yeah your, i noticed that you and your father have the same beard to a certain extent you know no top lip beard just the sort of chin strap kind of thing going on whereas your dad's beard is a much darker complexion to what yours is You'll want... also notice yeah. that my dad has no mother as well. <laughs> he doesn't as well, yeah, it's just... But you do know that your mom was probably a blonde. I don't know. She might have been Because, you know, her. mixed colours. Or maybe dad... redhead. Your dad's heir. Uh... I, I prefer to think that uh, is William your... is clearly the angelic spawn of God. Probably. In your... this your dad... most holy of worlds. Your dad's heir, who's your brother, I think, right? He looks like a weasel. That's right. He's got. He he's, does. He's gone for the opposite look. He's got no no chin hair, just moustache. He's like the, He's also uh, worse in literally every way except diplomacy. Yeah, he also looks like he hasn't washed his hair once. But um, that's another thing. Filthy bastard. As who for, are you playing as, Berg? As for me, I am Count Voodoo of Forez, um, who is obviously hiding the fact that he's got a double chin with a goatee. But he does have quite a modern haircut. That kind of haircut looks like it could well be in place in 2015 as well as 769, which I'm kind of Let pleased about. He looks him. like a guy going through a midlife crisis <laughs> who's yeah. not willing to accept that he's balding. <laughs> What, you trying to say he's covering it up a little bit? Like, he's just got the cover yeah, of so. Maybe, or he's just so, trying to be modern and stuff. He, he's kind of trying to, like, disguise Although you could trim your that. beard a little. I don't know. I kind of like it. He's I'm moving with the, the times. Ladies. My yeah. man isn't particularly great. Apart from in oh. intrigue, he's not bad, I suppose. 14. Oh, I think I'll go to the barber. Maybe make myself bald. Yeah, let's shave that off. Let's do that. <laughs> Look a little bit better. Let's, yeah, let's let's trim up. We've um, sort of let's just go. just for the viewers at home, we have had a little look yeah, before we started the game, just to um, you know get yeah. ready as to what we're going to do. So I think we're we're sort of in a position now. We're about five minutes in now. Probably start looking for wives. I think that's what we should do. 
because we all need oh, yeah, to find I, I already sent the already invitation. Found. Oh, have you? All oh, right, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to be married. Who did you go with, Lucas? Uh, I went with Aaron. I don't know. She's a she's a courtier in uh, Cornwall, and she's a 16 year old Breton who happens to be strong. Funnily enough, so I'm, I'm marrying a 16 year old Breton as well. Aaron. Oh, she's pretty good. Yeah, it's not the same. She's one. an I'm hoping for some good breeding. Uh, who, who I did the same marrying? with Genius. Sorry, who are you marrying, Lucas? Where is she based? She's in Cornwall. Mm -hmm. She's in... I don't actually know if she's in the province of Cornwall. She's in the court of yeah, the yeah. king here. of Cornwall. Yeah, what, what's her name? Actually, Aaron? Is, yeah, I was about to say, that's, there's only like one girl there. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> she is strong, that is true. She's not particularly good in anything other than stewardship, but... Yeah, but I'm okay with that, because the only real weakness my ruler has right now is his diplomacy being kind of shit, but I'm hoping that I can... Oh, actually, I'm pretty content with that, considering uh, that my chancellor is a 23. Oh, really? I haven't even looked at my court yet. Um, <laughs> Looking at the council, I'm suddenly not so disappointed. Toria, who are you marrying? Too. I'm okay with it. I am marrying a genius, and I am also betrothing another one to my son, who's 13 years old, because I do want to breed some geniuses. Where's your, where's your, uh, where's your uh, lovely lady based? Just so oh, just let me. Just search for genius woman. Uh, she's Augusta, courtier in Neapolis. Don't get me to do loads of things. Oh, she's but... she's a stressed homosexual. Oh, that girl! I remember talking about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Augusta. And I also tried to betroth Stefania, courtier in Iconion, to my son. So I do want to get the geniuses going in the family. Incidentally, I think I'm the only one who doesn't have a son. Oh, do you have a son, Lucas? No, I do not have any children. I literally have I no 16. bloodline. I am the only person of my bloodline, which is uh, quite fun. Oh, yeah, you are, aren't you? The one and only. The one and only. Of so, House Buordi. So all of, this, all of this betroving my sons and daughters, don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Apparently, all my, my parents, my grandparents and my grand-grandparents, they all only had one kid. So, so I don't have any branching families. Right, okay. Um... Just me. What focuses have you gone for? All by yourself. Oh, that's, I went that, for that, family. That, that's another thing, just quickly. Uh, I personally, I don't know if the other two are, but I personally am going to try to the best of my ability play as what my character traits are. There will be some exceptions to it, but on the whole, I will try and make decisions based on, you know, what my guys like. I'm well, generally yeah. going to go for that kind of play style too. Yeah. I will also, at least a bit, because, um, for example, I am lustful, so yeah. There will be some some lusting, rumpy pumpy, some rumpy pumpy. There we go. My favorite, my fa one of my makes favorite sense. phrases. Makes sense. Rumpy pumpy. I'm um, ambitious, so it makes sense for me to try and unite my lands for the ducal claims that I have. I'm not sure whether I want to actually challenge West Francia. That that could go badly. See, could yeah. I I don't know, man. My, my my guy's honest, arbitrary. He's a bit shy. I think that kind of leads to being a bit of a family man. You know, sort of like he's a bit shy, kind of like, you know, doesn't, uh, not particularly ambitious, wants to, wants to just live with his family. I think we're going to go for family as my, uh, as my, uh, what do you call it? I can't even think now. Focus. I did go for that as well. Oh, I could become I'm going to be a hunter for now, I think. You hunting bastard. What will be the color of, uh, never mind. <laughs> Become <laughs> I've got loads of I've got loads of ambitions here to become chancellor, marshal. So I've never played with someone with these kind of ambitions before, as I've not played loads of the games. So I'm kind of would that be would I get appointed that by like my liege? Is that what you can if is? you're really good at the job? Mm. Yeah. Does it give you any benefits? High score. Is it good to uh, be chancellor? When you because... succeed, you get plus one in the stats. Yeah, I was so. going to say like for spy master. If I yeah, but to then that... keeping the title, is there any point in doing that, or do you just get randomly killed while doing stuff? Is there a well, way to see? It makes it makes your plots better if you happen to be the spy master. It makes it a little bit easier for people to succeed. Is there? In, in my other game, I keep getting appointed chancellor all the time, and I keep refusing because then you know he sends me places. Is there a way to? Oh, really? Is that what happens? All right. Is there is there a way to yep. see who is like on the council of King Carlemagne, who is my liege? Uh, you would have to go look manually. How do I do that though? At the, at the vassals. Oh. You'd, you'd click on his picture and then go through the vassals and hover over everybody. He probably hasn't actually given out any titles yet. Uh -huh. All right, because I just wanted to see, because my, my intrigue is 14, I think. So it's not great, but, you know, if he doesn't have particularly loads of particularly better options, maybe I could become the uh, 
spy master. I don't know. Actually, fuck that. I need a kid. So, like, where's my little uh, kitty thing? I don't even have an ambition <laughs> to have a kid. What the fuck's this? Because you already have one, right? You're not married yet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's right. Married. All right, well, then we'll do that. That's a nice, easy one. Yeah, you have to be married, and then you can... All right! Your ambition. All but actually, right. having the ambition selected increases your fertility a bit, so yeah, that's, yeah, that's no, useful. No, that's what I've done. No, There's it's that, too. And if she also time. happens to want to have a son, then yay. So I lose what? I lose the bishopric and the city. All right, okay, that's not great. What's my... How do I... Because I've got two two lands. What, where do I check the um, the duchies, or whatever it's called? The de jure duchies? Yeah. Down on the... I should... uh, next to the mini-map, mm, there's, yeah. little, there's all those uh -huh. little symbols. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. On I the far it. right. Here we go. The Duchy of Dothny. I should be able to... I don't understand why I can't oh. actually make it, because it's only three Dothny. provinces, and I've got two of them. So shouldn't I be able to create... You probably don't have enough money. No, but it should still give me the option as oh, in... Oh, no, like... it's four. Is it's it four? four provinces. How do yep. I check that? Sorry. You need Vienna. You need Vienne and you need uh, so, Divaray. Ah, right. I didn't see that little bastard over there. All right. Okay. Who's the boss So that would Vienna? be why you can't create it. All right. So he's that. What have I got in terms of my... Oh, I could go and beat him up. All right. Well, that's what we're going to do. I actually haven't even checked my council yet. It'd be good if we uh, had a look there. Ooh, they're not very good. I'm actually good to you start when you guys are. As well. I already because... declared my first war. Have you? All right. Well, that's good for you. Maybe uh, some of us who aren't as uh, expert as you... I've got a decent marshal. Everything else is pretty poo, though. Hmm. In fact, I'm trying to decide whether I want to go to war. It's a tough life. It's a tough life, war. Yeah. All right, well, I've got no options to actually make any of my council members better, so I suppose we should just get them to go and do stuff. Go and fabricate a claim, you bitch. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, let's do that. Does my liege like me? No, oh, he does. He doesn't have a wife. It's a pity I don't have a daughter. That could improve our relationship. Already being dynastical. Yeah, he's, he, 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 you're, you're too much of a plotter and a schemer, Toriel. You need to sort of like just live life a little. Well, I don't have a wife at the moment. Yeah, but you will do very shortly. Mm, when she comes, that might make things more interesting. It's a pity that all characters don't actually show up in the screen when you choose where you choose your marriages. Mm. The all available ones. Well, it's usually by distance, isn't it? But when I could I, I could marry the girls, and then they didn't show up in that screen at all. <laughs> I could marry the girls. Come here, <laughs> little girls. Let me marry you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. I think I'm good to, uh, to to play. Are you good to play? I am. I am ready. What map mode have you got it on, by the way? Um, realms or sometimes direct vassals. All right. I've got it on realm. Just so I didn't feel left yeah, out. I'm all right. right. What speed are we going to play at when I am pause? Uh, start off at two, just to make sure it stays in sync. All right. Okay. Here we go. Bam. Here we go. And up to speed two. Woo, Ooh. exciting. Wow, what are these oh, armies no. raised? What's going on? Are you fighting someone? I am. I am too. Sorry, I just... When it to decides to actually raise my troops. Are we going to pause when we get these pop-ups? Probably not, right? Mm, not really, oh. unless it's something very critical. Oh. Who are you fighting, Lucas? Let me see that. I am fighting the guy who is... Carcassonne. Right oh, Carcassonne. Me. Do you know the board game? Grey Hunter is lagging behind, decreasing speed. Crap. God damn it. That's uh, alright, well, we'll just have to play at speed one. <laughs> oh, God. Are you... well, hopefully, it'll settle itself in yeah. a minute. Are yeah, you... let's, let's hope that it does. Oh, what's going on? Loads of stuff. I'm completely confused. Let's get some gold. Alright, so let's pick a new ambition. Will I think you it's run away in time. Be to have a yes. kid. Oh, right, I need to have a kid so... as well. Let's get a daughter. Well, yeah, you do need a kid, but I critically need a kid, because should my man croak, that's going to be the end of me in this game. That'll be you done for. Like, literally, how was I create... How does this guy not have, like, one blood... Like, because they always... Like, we were talking about it before we started the game, but they always give you at least, like, some random, like, guys that they don't even tell you how you're related, but they're part of your bloodline. Like me, Count Vodo, no. Nothing. <laughs> nothing see that. No friends. Family, nothing. Nothing. Just, uh, that's it. No relations. Like, how did... Some people in the court. How did I even... No, no, no one. I've got no, literally, nothing in my, um... I've got nothing. 
Your wife is super good, super good though. Oh, Much better than mine. She is pretty good, eh? That's because you set your bar too high. You went genius. I went, no, no, no let's go with quick. Why do you like my homosexual, stressed, genius, cynical, deceitful wife? To be fair, to be fair, I can understand why she's stressed because I would imagine in 769, being a homosexual was a probably a stressful thing. Especially if probably you're a, a girl. Probably a pretty big deal. Yeah. I mean, you know, it can still be quite a stressful thing with the prejudices in life, you know, even in today's society. But that's more of a comment on our society in general. Uh, Next in philosophy with <laughs> us. <laughs> right. Um, now, as a slight noob to the game, not a noob noob, I know roughly what I'm going, what I'm doing. What, I, I, what, what, what about these laws and shit like that? Is there anything I should do with them? Right now, probably not. Just leave them, I, yeah? I do like yeah. increasing my feudal taxation as much as possible. Yeah. Feudal taxation. Yeah, feudal taxation would be nice. And reducing the... levy so they like you more. So at the moment, my feudal taxation is zero, none, and my levies is normal, which is the most I can get at the moment. So mm. what you're suggesting is maybe drop that to small? And I already... Well, I... You might want to go with the increasing the tax first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can only do one every five years, right? Isn't yeah. yeah. Yes. Right, so we'll do that. I next. actually yep. increased my feudal tax already. Uh, next... Next up, I will be decreasing the levies or increasing centralization. Oh, hold on. I need... There's like some sort of vote going on. Really? I don't like this voting system. What the fuck's this? Would you like to be marshal? Sure. I'll be marshal. But you offered to be marshal? Yeah. Apparently, mm. at 12. 12, I'm exceptional. Really? Yeah. Oh, man, mm. maybe I could have become spy master. I'm a 14 in uh, injury. Mm. Well, well, maybe he'll offer. Seems like Actually, you have the best stats of all of us. Who who made the offer here? Was it King Carloman, yeah? Yep. King Carloman. Yeah, my feudal uh, tax law. I prepared a magnificent meal. Do I want to be greedy or temperate? I will be temperate. There's a lot That's, of fights going on If I could. Who, who are you all warring with, sorry? I am just trying to, to conquer a bishop that I have a du jour claim on. Mm -hmm. And I have a du jour claim on the province directly to my south, and I would like it, pretty please. What is this? Whoa, yeah, oh, what dear. the fuck just happened? Oh, it, we got called into a war because um, the Carlings are all related, so it's not actually something we have to worry about. Mm, There's just yeah. a rebellion going on in West Francia. Okay. No, in, in the Netherlands. It would have been nice if it had uh, given me a pop-up. I'm presuming the army of Hunald, who's got like 14,000 ah. troops. Yeah, it's because he's the... That's, that's 1,400, not 14,000. Uh, 1,400, oh, no. sorry, yeah, sorry. Ah, gold pours from my hands. What the hell is this? I give up, honey. Please help me. So I could... What? 20% chance to gain one stewardship or 80% chance to gain the trait content. Okay. Ah, well, if you gain content, does that mean that you will therefore be role-playing not trying to unite your lands? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. The thing is with this content, it actually lowers my intrigue, which is my best thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I could go... Castles. I can tame those numbers. And um, my wife... Likes me 15 less for two years, but I do gain 10 prestige. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to go with that because I don't like the chance, my 20% chance of gaining one stewardship. And I don't particularly want to become content. So, All right, wife, dislike me a bit. Don't worry. It's only for two years. We're young. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get over it. How is she doing? Does she like you? She did like me. I don't know if she still does. Uh, she does like you pretty good, actually. Yeah, she likes me 17. She's irritated. Wow. She's she likes you thoughts. 17. She likes me 17. Now, come on, let's rumpy pumpy. Oh my god, this game's going so slow. Can we try and bump it up to two again to see what uh, happens? Let's try. See what yeah, happens. throw it up. I'm not getting any see messages. Likes things. There's some big yeah, armies. Seems to be doing There's some now. this time. Yeah. So, so why didn't I get a pop-up, though, that this rebellion thing was going on? Because it's in. Um, you because get... it's not really relevant to us. Because it's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> well, kind of. I mean, like, you, you've probably got the message settings to tell you only about direct things that happen in the nation oh. that you're part of. Right. Okay, okay. I, I need I need some advice from you, Lucas. Um, do mm -hmm. I want to become chancellor? I don't have the ambition to become chancellor. Well, well maybe not then. Because you won't really get anything for it. Okay. No, thank Wait, you. Am I leading on? Quick, quick, quick question. I'm busy with Rumpy Pumpy. Quick question. Yeah, so am I. When I press E, yeah, and then I click on my provinces, it shows me where I've got a claim. If it's like yellow, that means I've got a claim on that land, right? Ah. Uh, or is it just showing me that I, I'm the liege? Honestly, to... don't know. 
He's my liege king. I got no idea. No, it's I blue usually when you've right. got a claim. I think it's blue. How do I check where I've got a claim? Is there a way to do that? Oh, um, well, you click on your Oh, portrait. claims. Yeah, I've got zero yeah. claims. I've got no claims. I've just got titles. Yeah, oh, okay. yellow, I would imagine. They just like you a little bit. No, that's fine. So I don't know. I don't really no, like yellow, I think it's much. because he's my liege. That's why. I think that's why it came up, because it was showing me Carlemagne's uh, domains. Can you, can you try and find, possibly, uh, Charlemagne himself he's, in the game? He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, but you can usually have a look. Well, all right. Well, if we click on well, Carlemagne... There, there's, there's Pepin Carling, but I, I doubt that's him. No, isn't Carl of West Francia Charlemagne? Carl the Hammer. Carl of no, that's Frankie. Charles Martel. All right. I don't know, man. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that Charlemagne is, in fact, Carl of West Francia. I... Because Charlemagne is Charles the Great. Or Carl the Great. So this guy, he looks pretty awesome with his beard. I like his mm. beard. There's supposed to be events where he can uh, where he can take out his brothers like really, really fast and just unite all of the lands. Yeah. If he gets really lucky. So what's, what's going on in this rebellion war? Because it seems to me the red dudes are winning. Yeah, they kind of are. Uh, it's because the middle Frankian army is just kind of sieging. I'm it's not entirely sure why. Of, um, uh, just so elective you... monarchy. Oh, civil war for elective monarchy. J just so you know, oh, remember that? how my wife disliked me for a bit? Yeah, now she likes me plus 25 for 240 months because we're in love. And I've gained, I've gained the proud trait. Oh, excellent. I'm proud. Hang on. Wait a minute. What? Her opinion... Oh, it just hasn't updated. There yeah, her go. opinion of me is 100 It still now. said 17. I was like, what? So I'm proud. But you've got a plus 75. How is it a 17? How can that I be... makes much more sense. Proud and shy. That's a really How can I make number. a prince bishopric not be a prince bishopric, but a regular county? That's a question that went I revoking, I believe. You have to you have to take it, revoke it, and give it to somebody who's feudal. Oh, can I plot to revoke it? Really? No. Oh well, that's good. The people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technological level. This pleases me. Do oh, I have a prisoner? But didn't um... you didn't you go and take something? Like weren't you at war? Oh, I'm holding Ethelred, a baron. Good, let's, let's uh, <laughs> run to him. Oh, I just happened to be holding this guy. How about that? Really? Let's... I went I went for a little stroll down to my dungeons, and there he was. I... He was just sitting there. I'll enforce those demands, thank you very much. Damn straight the war is over. The war let's is over. Flatter and soothe people. Not in any war. Um, okay. I would actually like to study technology in Byzantium, but uh, apparently I am paranoid, so I sent my spy master to scheme instead. Nice for you. Okay, uh, and on that note of you sending someone to scheme, I'm going to hit the pause button because we are going to end this very first episode. And my wife is pregnant. Oh, well, congratulations on that. On that, Mazel On that great hey. news. There we go. We can end this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it, dear viewer. I know it's sort of the first episode. There's a little bit of intros and stuff like that. Um, and as it is the first episode of a brand new series, please do show your support by hitting those like buttons, leave your comments and all that jazz on whoever's perspective you may be uh, watching. And maybe even try and check out other people's perspectives. It could be quite cool for you. But until episode two, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.